So whenever I visit different countries, one thing I like to do that maybe a lot of people might not like to do, but I for some reason do, is I like to visit the supermarket. I mean, you can do a lot of different touristy things, but just going to a supermarket is actually enjoyable for me. I like to see what sort of products a country sells in their supermarkets that you don't see anywhere else tasting some good food that maybe you don't get other places as well and I'm going to be looking at a Swedish supermarket today this is ICA Maxi so I have never heard of ICA Maxi before this tell me is it a popular supermarket in Sweden have you been there before do you go often is there any things in Swedish supermarkets that maybe you don't get anywhere else that you think are interesting let's watch this Well, big section for flowers. That's new to me, actually. Is there a, a big demand for people to buy flowers in Sweden? Or is our husbands very giving to their wives, always buying flowers for them? This is actually a good selection. This is something, I live in Malaysia. You don't really get any things like this at all. I think because the temperature, the weather isn't suitable for a lot of flowers like this. But things like this is a good, uh, a good thing. If you have an argument with the with the wife, you can buy some flowers to make up for it. Seems very quiet for some. Oh, got so much Lego. My son would absolutely love that place. What about the prices? Are the prices here good? Are they affordable in this supermarket for people? Books for children. I've actually got this book, but the English version, that's so funny my, for my son. Actually really good for children and be able to get toys, get some books for educational purposes as well. Wow, so many books. I mean, as I said, I've lived in Asia. This is so different. I never really see anything like this before in a supermarket. So many books, kitchen supplies as well. Can really get so many things in Swedish supermarkets. I've not lived in the UK for yeah about 12 or 13 years, so I'm not too sure if it's similar. Maybe it's more similar to British supermarkets, but here in Malaysia, definitely this is, this is so different actually. And all the goods look very high quality as well. This isn't even just like a supermarket, this is more like, I don't know, some sort of mini mall. Bread, cookies and cake, nice. What are these things there? Those, are they like some sort of broken biscuits or something? Whoa, that bread looks fantastic. I mean, again, man, people probably wondering why someone would get so excited about bread. But again, living in Malaysia, the bread here is absolutely terrible quality. It's, it shouldn't even be called bread. This looks fantastic. Even got focaccia, baguette. And is this all freshly made in the supermarket as well? Whoa, so much cakes, man. I definitely have a sweet tooth as well, so this will, this actually looks so delightful. Crambo. I'm not cafe brood. I've not really seen any of these before. Oh.
It looks so tidy and organized as well. Have such a big selection of things. What are those? Are those some sort of wafers or crackers or something? Vita caca, Vita caca. Ngeo chocolate, or oh, chocolate cookies, chocolate chip cookies. Creamy sauce. What is this? I've never seen anything like this. These are all creamy sauces. So what are these actually for? Oh, so for putting over maybe fish, something like that. What sort of flavors would you get in this? That's actually a good idea for put. Okay, what we got here? Bacon. Oh, so it's a brand called Baconost. It actually looks like very upmarket compared to what I'm used to as well, like all these like fittings and the way it is, it just looks very, very clean, oof. Nice. Well, so much choice of fruit juice as well. When it comes to produce like fruit and vegetables, is it all mainly produced in Sweden or do you import a lot of these things from other countries? And if so, what countries? Very plentiful in produce as well. Target. Just target me fruit. Yeah, really so much choice like look how many varieties of apple there is. Got pineapple as well, got some tropical fruits in Sweden. frozen seafood there. I'd imagine the food, even this sort of food would be of great quality as well. Because it, I, I don't know, like, because of the signage and all that, is this some sort of, like, maybe discount supermarket or anything? Or are these sort of things, these big offer signs, are they just common in all supermarkets in Sweden? Yeah, this is what I mean. I've, ne I've really never seen any of these products before anywhere. Sweet chili, fresh oil, fresh oil and garlic, cheddar, red onion and jalapeno. Yes, they sound good. Crispy bacon and sour cream. Are these all Swedish brands or are they, or are they from other European countries? This brand here, OLW. Never heard of it before. Loka. Loka sounds Swedish. Is that some sort of sparkling water or something? Ramlosa. I mean, the thing I'm surprised compared to again Malaysia, there's just nothing on the floor. The place is so tidy and like, I'm really, really impressed by the cleanliness of the place. Energy drinks, Monster Mule. Are energy drinks popular in Sweden? Looks like there's a lot of them. Jeez. Why is there so much different varieties of energy drink? I've seen like Red Bull and Monster, but there's a, an absolute ton of different things there. It's 
So yeah, I guess people in Sweden like energy drinks. Was this tea or something maybe? Are Swedish people big tea or coffee drinkers? Is there a preference? Do Swedish people prefer one over the other? Oh, the olive oil as well. Or vinegar, is it? Oh, is this all nuts? Whoa! That, now that's my sort of place, man. I definitely have a sweet tooth, love candy. And I remember hearing that Sweden has... Is it a candy day on a Saturday for children? <coughs> Is this where kids would come on a Saturday and just like fill up on candy? Marabu. I mean, this is what I mean. Like, when I go to different countries, this is what I want to see. I uh, literally, again, I've never seen any of these before. They look similar to things we have in the UK and here in Malaysia, but I've just never seen any of these brands. I've got baby food as well. Do people buy their children's clothing from supermarkets if you did that before how's the quality i have a young uh, four-year-old son and a almost one-year-old girl but i've never really bought clothing from a supermarket before i've never i mean not that i've, ne I've just never seen baby clothing in a supermarket before Yeah, man, that was really interesting. Again, like, super unique. I didn't really see many brands that I recognised. Obviously, things like Red Bull, Monster, and things, but pretty much everything else was all new to me. So tell me what your favourite Swedish product is, what you buy a lot in the supermarkets, how it compares to more international brands, and, yeah, how is the prices in Swedish supermarkets? Thanks.